Hello everybody. In our lesson for today, we are going to learn about the literal equations and formulas. What are they and how to solve this type of equations? A literal equation is an equation that has more than one variable. For example here, so equals between the two sides makes us understand that this is an equation. In left side, the variable h. In the other side, in the right side, we have one, two, three letters. Three letters, it means three variables. So, in all, the equation has four variables. So, this is called a literal equation. When working with this type of equations, your task will be to solve for one of these variables in terms of the other variables. In terms, it means using the others. So you will concentrate on the variable you have to solve for and the rest of the variables, think about them as they are constant numbers. For example, let's have a try. They say, K equals AM plus 3mx. The value of m in terms of akx. From here I understand that I have to solve for m. So what is this m? I'm going to go check the sides of this equality. Left of equals is no term with m. But in right side of equals I have two terms. I have the am and 3mx. To combine these terms, we cannot do it because the terms are unlike terms. They are not like terms. So then we cannot combine them. Between A and M, the operation is a times. Between 3 and M times and Mx is times. So we cannot combine, but we can very easily observe that the M is a common factor in the terms. So then the expression we can factor it. So we will write k equals the common factor it is m. We will take it outside times. From the first term, the m is out. Here m is out. What is it left? a plus 3x. So to solve for m, we have to isolate the variable m. As you can see it written here, the coefficient 1. So this is what we look for. We got the m here. But it has this coefficient, so we need only m. The operation it is times, we will divide by the expression. We don't need it. Whatever is done one side, we will do it on the other side. In this way, we got only m. So we can write that m equals fraction 9 over a plus 3x. So we solve for m. This is the factor in this equation in terms of a, a, and x. So the correct answer it will be this one. Let's try more. If x equals 2x plus p over R. So then t equals. So the variable it will be t. The term in t we have it here, but it's inside of a fraction. So if we have a fraction, we do not keep working with fractions we said before and divide it by r. The reciprocal it will be times r. We do it on both of the sides of the equals. It will be r s equals when we do the times this r denominator will go and it will be left 2x plus t they ask us to find the t so i will go and look after the t is written only in the right side so this is going to be the subject of this equation minus 2x on both of the sides it will be t equals R S minus 2x. So we solve for t in terms of R S and x. And the correct answer it will be 
this one. Let's see more. The volume of a pyramid, it is given by V equals 1 over 3 times B times H. So better for you, put the times between the factors. It will be easier to understand what you have to do. They say, what is it H in terms of B and V? So the variable, it will be H. I go look for it. In left of equals is no H. In right of equals, this is the H and this is a factor. So these factors, we do not need them. We will simplify here first. It will be equals 1 times B, it is B over 3 times the H. This is what we look for. So the fraction, we don't need it. To remove the fraction, we do times. It's reciprocal, which is 3 to B, on both of the sides of the equals. So we are going to find, so we did it right of equals and left of equals, 3 over B. We will simplify 3 times V. It's 3V over B. So we found the H. The correct answer is this. Let's try more. Okay. For the equation, R over 3 plus T equals W. Express R. So look for R. So this equation, it has three variables. R, T, W. And the one we solve for, we need to find it is R. But before we start solving, we see here fraction. Better, better for us is to remove this denominator, so divide it by 3, the inverse it will be times 3. We will do the times in every single term of this equality. It will be r over 3 times 3, this 3 is out, it will be left only r, plus t times 3, 3t equals w times 3, it's a 3w. The variable r, so we look for it, is written here. We have to isolate this one, so minus 3t, minus 3t, it will be r equals, three w minus 3t. Let's try more. If p equals, so p equals, Q square times O. Express O. This means we have to solve for O. What is it O? So we look for it. In left of equals is no variable O, but in right of the equals, we see the O here. And because it's times, the O is a factor. So if it is factor, we don't need the Q square. We'll do divide it by Q square on both of the sides. So finally, O equals P over Q squared. Thank you.